here. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I can't believe I she still have this pencil tortured, case. Right? I should upgrade to the and 21st frankly, century. Bullshit. But I like it old school. I haven't Seriously, kept up with my journal as much as I should. You in a dark corner and capture you in a moment. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. I do love my analog camera. Isn't that too I obvious? should take a quick picture now. Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't wait. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even if you're submitting your photo for the conference. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laugh. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. You seem quiet today. No matter who just is, thinking too much. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process. I hear that. I also want everybody to know that Wanna go grab a cup of tea and, and bitch right. about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I feel like you have to you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Black then I might send you a special picture to class. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. I'm not paying her. He plays it so shy. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. <laughs> Looks like she's been gone for months. To imagine a world without you. American girls. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side. I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first.
with shiny smiles. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a photographer Man, I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? go, Victoria. Why Arbus? I did it. Can you give me I an actually example did of a it. photographer who perfectly captured the human, human condition time machine? White. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep images it together, of Max. Spaces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson so asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does Jefferson again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Portrait has been popular I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits?
I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's face. Max, since you've captured our interest... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I'm so I need a hammer to break it open! You trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk I ass! I need a hammer to break it open! Get away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. No. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. I'm going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. Where's 
than drugs. Nobody. I need a hammer to break it open. Mr. Punk. Show me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. We're well, sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody... I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive.
Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Matson, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not your surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. 
Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No! <clears throat> Think, Max. Rewind and find something. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Are you kidding? Look at this! Jill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much the... Do you understand English? Get lost. <laughs> Thank you. 
Cheers, bro. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Awesome. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? No. You look great. I can't even chill. Nice. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Let's see if this works. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Samuel is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. Hurry, Courtney! Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room.
You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Juliet, this is so Hey, Juliet. Stupid. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are what did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't you even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Ugh. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. <clears throat> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million- Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Get lost, hipster. 
I'm not doing any interviews. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. 